Hello everyone, I am Kelly of Gaming and welcome back to another video of the iRacing Hot Lap Guided Series. Um, of course, yesterday we already have the Dallara F3 around the circuit of Spa Francorchamps. So this week, uh, this video, um, it's back to usual. It's uh, of course the Porsche Cayman GT4, um, 718 GT4, however, whatever you call it. This time it is around the Silverstone circuit, but not the new layout. It's the old layout, the uh, 2008 layout. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Please, uh, but before the video begins, please smash the uh, like button and don't forget to subscribe down, uh, like somewhere down there in the description. Um, the setup download track, uh, uh, the setup download weather info and the timestamps and the replay file will all be down in the description below. So for the setup and the replay, will we'll have a link of a Google Drive kind of thing. Weather info will be down in the description as well as the timestamps. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so here I am to take you around the Silverstone. 2008 layout so first corner cops um breaking marker is the light um on left hand side of the screen or before the turn right of the breaking marker mid corner you can start accelerating and uh, just be careful don't run too wide on the exit as you can see right here you uh, don't you can see the crosses don't run on those it'll suck your car and you're just gonna get off tracks and probably kill your car as a result so next corner maggots and beckets this one is uh, very interesting so maggots well turn two actually don't need a break but just before we have the turn left kind of marker so that's your turning point as now we head to Beckett. So breaking marker, it's the middle of this turn to apex. And technique, it's not really a technique, but abuse the curbs, as you can see. Just abuse it. You have to to get the car turned in. Beckett's the breaking marker is this uh, left hand side curb. Technique. Again, use a lot lot of apex curbs as you can see. Not quite tight enough actually that run. So now turn five again no breaking marker for this one you have to just tiny break a little bit between the two corners mid corner start just tiny bit start slowly accelerating as you can see there is the purple light on the LED uh, light which means that traction control just turns on or just gone off basically that means that like you have oversteer or something like that now, stow, where to brake? You can see there's a box on the left hand side of the track. That is your braking point. Turning point, a bit later down the road. Mid corner, just start accelerating. No need to like really slowly. This one's normal accelerating because there's a lot of exit space for you to just uh, accelerate, basically. Now, chicane. Braking marker, these two points of the braking, uh, this white line and the stand on the right hand side. Now turn in for this one, abuse the curbs again, this one really just abuse the curbs and stay in second gear uh, up like after this apex so you can start accelerating a little bit and then to the second part of the chicane. Now there, here, club no need to break but there is a very big tip and a trick here. Go beyond, uh, beyond the right hand side of curbs, you won't get an off track. As you can see on the screen, just use it. That's um, how you gain time there, and that's why probably they don't they don't use this track anymore. So now, as we head to Abbey, so this corner you can see the braking markers, this grass patch on the right side of the track, turning point. A little bit down the line, there's a road patch. So before that one, uh, this one, uh, you might get in, you might get off like turn in late but usually you want to turn in a little bit earlier so now as we head to bridge very interesting name so the braking marker is this gray patch on the left hand side of the track break a little bit and then turn in after you break and then for the apex just hug as close as like possible you, you have to use the apex as well the curbs I mean now priori I don't know why this name but 
braking markers, these two white lines on right hand side of the screen. Very understeering, so you have to modulate the throttle to get a good exit out of this corner. You can see I'm struggling here as well. So now as we head to Brooklyn's turn 15. So braking markers, this grey-ish patch right hand side of the track. Turning point uh, before the right hand side, this curb starts, so you have to turn in before that one. Technique, again, abuse the cu uh, curbs and uh, slowly start accelerating after the corner. As you can see, you don't have a lot of runoff, so like you don't have a lot of exit space to like really accelerate that fast. So now, love field, no braking marker for this one. Just, again, tiny little break into the corner and hug as close as you can. Uh, third gear down to second gear for this one. Yeah, hug the apex as much as possible and then when you see the exit curb, you can start accelerating as you can see it's right there. And you don't want to touch those gravel trap or grass. You can use this great uh, greenish patch like beyond the uh, curves, but that's about it. And that is a lap of the Silverstone 2008. Next up, we'll have the cockpit cam with telemetry. Please enjoy.
3, 2, so that is it guys, hope you guys fully enjoyed today's video, or uh, round, uh, Porsche, of course it's the Porsche 718 GT4, around Silverstone 08 layout, and uh, let me know what you think about this uh, video, and I hope truly this can help you on your iRacing career, hope you uh, can get faster around the track, and uh, yeah. Before I go off, please, again, smash the like button, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!